Whew. Oh, oh, oh. jackpot, baby. What I have in this bucket here might smell kind of gross, but right now everyone's throwing them out and it's free food for my garden. Let's go. Any raspberries? Oh, you betcha. Quick little fall snack. Don't mind if I do. The perks of being the gardener? Well, what you don't bring in the house, they don't know you picked. Whew, that is heavy. What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the My Gardener channel. It's a beautiful day in the garden today and so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy your time with me in the garden. In today's episode we're going to be talking about a free fertilizer source for your garden that millions of people throw out every single year the day after Halloween and that is pumpkins. I hope that you're not going to be one of those people after this video and hopefully you'll tell your neighbors and friends after you watch this video so that they don't either because pumpkins are a really incredible resource to the garden. But not just that, they can actually help prevent lots of nutrients from leaching into waterways and ruining our waterways, as well as creating tons of greenhouse gases and methane, which when gone to the landfill, that's what they contribute towards. Pumpkins in the US are a $100 million industry. $100 million goes towards growing pumpkins. And if you had to guess, what percentage of that $100 million is attributed to fertilizer expenses? I'll give you a second to post in the comments box below your guesses. I would love to see some of your guesses before I share with you the answer. I can wait, I can wait. If you're not subscribed or you don't have a YouTube channel, create one, subscribe, throw a comment down below. <laughs> All right, so if you take $100 million of the uh, overall pumpkin market, over $60 million of that is attributed to fertilizer expenses. That's 60% of the overall pumpkin market is attributed to fertilizer. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, synthetic fertilizer is being used to grow these huge fruits. And that's because pumpkins are very nutrient hogging. They are very, very nutrient hogging because they have to produce these huge fruits and they produce a lot of them per plant. And so pumpkin growers will pump their soil full of nutrients that they go out and buy because uh, generally the soil has been worked and depleted and worked and depleted and they're taking these pumpkins off site. So if you're taking your pumpkins off site to sell, you know, to you and me and everyone else that enjoys, uh, you know, fall festivities, you need to replace the nutrients back in the soil. And unfortunately, a lot of farmers do not use things like manures or, uh, you know, cover crops and things like that compost to actually re uh, remineralize their soil. They want bigger, better results. So they go synthetic. And what do those synthetic fertilizers do? Well, they pump the, the, they pump the plant full of nutrients and then the nutrients go to create these giant pumpkins. Well, the nutrients don't just disappear there. They actually stay in the fruits. Per 100 pounds of pumpkin flesh, that's this stuff right here. <laughs> that's this stuff right here. 100 pounds of pumpkin flesh equates to two pounds of pure nitrogen, a half a pound of pure phosphorus, and one and a half pounds of pure potassium. That means if you went out and you bought a 100 pound bag of fertilizer that was, that was marked a two, 0.1, 1.5, right, on the NPK, you would be getting exactly, literally exactly the same amount of nutrients from this free resource. And so this just goes to show you, not only are we throwing out millions of pounds of, of fertilizer every single year, the, the repercussions of that is also really bad. Because what happens when you throw out your pumpkin at the side of the road, Unfortunately, municipalities don't generally consider that yard waste. If it's put into a yard waste bin or it's put into a, a brown bag, generally they will go to the compost facility if your municipality has one. However, if you put it at the side of the road next to your trash bins, generally more often than not, it goes to the landfill. And all that does is generate tons of, of uh, nutrient leaching, which runs into waterways and pollutes our waterways, but it also generates tons of methane and carbon dioxide, which is just, it's just wasteful to our atmosphere. And so at the end of the day, what I'd much rather see you do is put it into your garden to use that free fertilizer that 
farmers are spending millions and millions and millions of dollars on, $60 million to be exact, I'd rather you take a portion of that $60 million and use it to benefit your garden. All right, so when it comes to using pumpkins in the garden, I do hear a lot of times reasons why people don't like to use them. And generally it comes down to one, the smell. They do smell when they break down and that has everything to do with the nutrients found in the pumpkin. The more nutritious something is, the more nutrients there are, the more smell can be generated. If you look at something like leaves, leaves are relatively, uh, they, they are fairly nutritious, but they're relatively inert. They are basically just carbon. And so when they break down, they do get off some smell, but the smell in comparison is much, much less. And that's because, because they're mostly carbon, they, uh, they don't really break down and offer much, to, to, much in the way of smells to give off. Uh, they're about 0.2% nitrogen, about 0.1% uh, uh, phosphorus, and about 0.5% potassium. So they don't really provide that much nutrients compared to pumpkins. And so if you're com you know, kind of comparing the nutrient levels to the smell given off, pumpkins are some of the most nutritious things that you can be composting. And so because of that, they do give off some foul odors. And so we're gonna cover how to prevent the smells. The second reason why people don't like to use pumpkins in their garden is because of animals. Things like rodents are a huge problem, especially in large cities. Things like rats and mice are a, uh, a really big problem. And so varmin is something that people try to, try to prevent. And so they typically get their pumpkins as far away from their house as possible because the pumpkin flesh as well as the pumpkin seeds is a very popular food source for mice and rat. And then also the third reason why a lot of people don't like to use them is because they're perceived as like bulky. They're perceived as really big, large, heavy things. And so, yeah, this absolutely sucked to carry down the street. I got it. <laughs> Our neighbors down the street were throwing them out and uh, that's what generated this video idea. So I just uh, threw them in this bucket here and, and carried them back to the house. And yeah, they absolutely suck to carry. They're super heavy because they're, there's a lot of water in these. Uh, the water weight in a pumpkin is about the same water weight uh, as just about any other vegetable. It's just, it's so much larger. And so if you're looking at like a you know, 15, 20 pound pumpkin, the amount of water weight in that pumpkin is probably close to about 10 to 12 pounds of water weight. So there's a ton of water that you're lugging around and carrying, but nevertheless, I'll also show you how to kind of reduce the bulkiness of it. All right, so the first way to reduce their overall size and bulkiness is to just let them set. This is the first thing that a lot of gardeners hate is just how bulky they are. Because yeah, a whole pumpkin is fairly bulky and difficult to work with, but you let them set for a week or two, they're gonna be mushy super fast. And that's why most people throw them out at the road as soon as Halloween is over is because yeah, Thanksgiving is still kind of seen as an autumn, kind of an autumn holiday, but generally pumpkins don't even last that long. They're totally mush by then. And so, uh, you know, the mushiness helps to kind of deflate their size, deflate their bulkiness. And yeah, they'll still weigh about the same, which is you know, why they kind of suck to lug around. But when it, you're looking at the nutrient value, it's kind of hard to pass up. So grab those pumpkins and let them sit on a tarp for like, you know, a week or two, and they won't be very bulky for very long. Also, you can take a shovel and kind of smash them up, break them up, because they do break really easily. Now, if you're worried about things like the, the foul smell or uh, animals and stuff getting into the pumpkins as a food source, the method that I'm gonna show you will resolve both of those things, and that's by burying them. And the nice thing with burying your pumpkins is not only does it bury the smells that smell bad, but it also gets it out of the range of things like mice and, and rats to, uh, to dig into and uh, um, you know, raccoons. Um, animals don't really dig into, dig into your trenches and uh, dig up the pumpkins as much. And so you're going to be resolving that issue by burying them. But also they break down so much faster when they're buried because they're, uh, they're buried down where things like worms and other uh, soil bacteria and uh, insects and things like that can actually help to break down the pumpkins. And so I find that when you bury your pumpkins, they'll break down three, four, even five times faster than just sitting on top of the soil, being exposed to the air and other animals and things like that to use them as food. 
So a lot of you know that I really like the core gardening method. That's where we dig a trench into the garden and we dig a trench so that we can bury things like straw or grass clippings or uh, mulched up leaves. And we like to dig a trench that's about eight to 10 inches deep and about 10 inches wide. And we do that so that the straw and stuff is down far enough to where you can grow on top of it, but the straw holds on to moisture and water throughout the growing season. Well, we do the same thing when we bury things like pumpkins. Now we do the, we bury the pumpkins in the fall, we'll put the cores in in the spring. So basically by spring, these pumpkins will be completely broken down into beautiful, rich organic matter. And all we're gonna do is simply take our pumpkins, throw them into the hole just like that, give them a little chop up, kind of spread them out a little bit. Ooh, gross. There we go. Again, just kind of layering them into the, into the trench like that. As they break down, they're going to create wonderful organic matter and compost for your garden, but it's also gonna to provide tons of free nutrients for your garden. Now, all we're gonna do is simply take the soil that we used, or that was in the trench, and we're going to use it to cover the pumpkins, just like that. This also is really gonna cut down on things like flies, fruit flies, and other, other insects that are kind of annoying as well because flies love rotting stuff. Uh, fruit flies love rotting stuff. So you're gonna simply resolve many problems and end up with a better product in the end by just burying it about six to eight inches down. All right, it's that simple. Smells are taken care of, pests are taken care of, and the garden is fertilized. Now, I did wanna make a quick little note here that if you do have animals, farm animals, pumpkins can often make a great food source for those animals. Animals like chickens and pigs absolutely love pumpkins. Pumpkins are a great food source, and uh, not only that, but the, the food source can generate more food, right? Like you can get eggs from chickens by feeding them the pumpkins. And then you can use their manure that comes from the chickens to feed your garden. So even if you're not using the pumpkins directly in your garden, you can use them indirectly by feeding animals that then their waste can be used to feed your garden. And so it really does help to just create more self-sustainability, um, you know, less reliance on outside fertilizer sources, and uh, just kind of helps you become that much more uh, efficient with how you grow your own food. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new and hopefully through this video, you and your neighbors and your friends will never throw out another pumpkin after Halloween, but instead use them in your garden. So as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you guys later. See ya.